Hey, hey, I am Igra Glass, and today I'll tell you how to start playing Tangaria, game which combines MMORPG experience and classic roguelike experience. So if you like NetHack, Angband, DCSS, Adom, and other classic roguelike games, uh, you may find interesting to try them in multiplayer, where you could uh, create party with other players to fight with monsters together, when you could compete with other players, uh, who is better, who is high level, where you could trade with other players. So build your house, not to buy it, but build your house. Like this is my little house right now. You could put uh, some items for uh, trade with other players. So it's traditional roguelike experience together with interaction with other players. You could even PvP, you could even fight with other players, but only on demand, so no griefing. In this video guide, I'll tell you how to start playing. So we will download the game and create a new, a new character. So uh, at the website tangaria.com, go to download section. And here, if you Windows user, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 10, you could download this client. It's totally safe to download it because if you copy the link, you will see that it's downloading stuff from GitHub. So we have here uh, binary files at GitHub and they are downloaded from here. Also, if you are a tech savvy guy, you could even get sources of the game and compile it by yourself. So this is open source game and this is uh, like the reason why it's safe. There is no malware or viruses or something bad. So yeah, download the game, or if you're a Linux user, you could use uh, our special shell script, which give you possibility to download it at, and install it at Linux, which is not always easy thing to do. So uh, let's download it, this Windows client. Now take your uh, downloaded zip archive and you could just unpack it anywhere. You do not need to install it, just unpack. And uh, now you could start playing. This game do not require registration. You just uh, run. The most popular choice is to run monk client SDL file. Monk client SDL, there are three types of clients, but SDL is the most popular one. So you just start it, enter login and password and start playing. But uh, the thing is that then you will need to enter your client uh, password and login every time. So the, you could open file manclient.ini and in, just open it in notepad and here you could enter your login and password to save it so login password like login like john12345 it's your login and choose very long password because uh, your uh, login it's public information while password is private so it's better to have it long and strong so you, you entered it to this file, to manclient.ini, and now if you will start manclient.sdl, uh, this pa uh, password and login will be stored there. Now you could see my uh, keyboard, so I'll show you everything which I push there. Uh, you play Tangaria with only keyboard, no mouse, and it's important to have numpad. But if you do not have it, it's not a critical problem because you also could remap your hot case uh, just here so if you have notebook it's also possible to play but it's a bit harder so the easiest way is to play with numpad so let's start uh, our sdl client one client sdl we started and here you see that our login is saved because we saved it so we push enter and our password also sent also saved so we push enter again now we need to create character, so we push A button, A. And we need to choose name for our character, so I push delete to delete my login, and let's call us uh, like dummy. Let's call, call our character as a dummy. Let's push enter, and now you could choose its sex. It's quite important thing, because it's influence your um, certain interactions with other uh, characters so you could have sex <laughs> in the game so you should choose which uh, sex do you wish uh, let me i'll be male now you could choose your race we have 
a lot of races. You could see that I think it's the most amount of races of all uh, roguelike uh, games or maybe RPGs. So it's a big amount. And uh, you could see their properties, properties of these races. You could push question mark to see a lot description and you push, you could push exclamation mark to see its details. So some, some races they have uh, plenty of um, properties which is important to look at. But as you are a new player, we think about, we think that it's like this. I think we will start with a half troll. So first race here, it's half troll and it has very nice uh, parameters to survive. It will forgive you plenty of mistakes. So let's choose it, push enter. And now you could choose a race, uh, a class. And uh, I also recommend to choose warrior for the start. So you push enter again. Now you could uh, assign parameters and there are two different ways to do it. Let's go for point based. So push again, again, push enter again. And here with our uh, arrows, we want to have a lot of strength and we want also to have uh, a lot of dexterity. And uh, if you want, you could remove some points and also have some constitution or uh, more strength. Important thing here is number of blows. So if your character have a lot of blows, it's easy, easy to survive at the beginning. So if you have a lot of strength and dexterity, you will have plenty of blows. Then we push enter and enter again. And we now created our character. We push space and enter the game. There you could see your character inside of the tavern. So uh, what you could do, you could move around with your numpad hot uh, case. The good thing about numpads that you could go diagonally and it's very important thing to be able to do it. So you should try to use your right hand, uh, if you're a right-handed person, uh, for moving at numpad like this. Just try it. Uh, by yourself and other other hand we put it here and we use it for commands for when you just start to play you could check your inventory so inventory it's i so you could choose see what you have inside of your backpack so we have some food rations of food uh, some potions scrolls which you could read so yeah each command here, it has some, uh, each hotkey has some comments uh, upon it. So you could push um, question mark to see available comments with A. And here you could see that, for example, A, it's aim wand, B, it's browse the book, C, close the door. In time you will learn all these comments, but when you just start, you do not need much. You just need to walk around, quaff potions, Q, button. So if you will be hard by monsters, you could quaff potions. Uh, then you need W. It's wield or we, uh, wield or wear items if we will find some. E. It's to see equipped items. And to close it, you push escape. So R. It's uh, read scrolls. We have plenty of scrolls. For example, scroll of fast door. If we will push R and then um, you see it's E button. So this in your inventory, if we push escape and I again, we see that in our inventory, each item has its own uh, index. And for example, our scrolls, fast door, it has E index. So if we push R hotkey, we see here that fast door scrolls, they have E. And so if we will push R E, we will read this scroll. So it's all it's it works with all uh, stuff in your inventory. So so for example, if I push Q quaff potion, then when I push C, I will drink a potion. Yeah. 
So uh, let's go back to to the start. Here you could also buy some items from um, Tavern Keeper if you wish. For example, we could buy some uh, throwing rocks. So to buy something, we push P. Yeah, you could uh, you could push question mark to see available comments. Yeah, but yeah, uh, just to to talk with uh, Tavern Keeper, you just walk into him. So you push. Uh, arrow when you're nearby and here you could push P to purchase something P and now he asks which item we want to choose throwing rocks it's Z we push Z and how much let's buy like 30 and now we push enter so we bought these throwing rocks to end to exit store we push escape and now uh, if you would look into your inventory, you wouldn't find it because all throwing items you put it to quiver. So to open a quiver, you push shift and this button. So it's kind of uh, it's uh, uh, this symbol, this line, straight line. Yeah. Um, so here we see uh, we have thirty throwing rocks in our, in our quiver. So. Uh, also, we could go uh, to other uh, NPC, and the thing is that it's possible to run around. Not only walking like this, because it's slow and boring, so you could also make it fast. If no offensive monster around, you could do it fast. To do it, you push Shift, hold it, and uh, choose direction. For example, to the left. And your character run. He runs until he will find something interesting. So, for example, this uh, water, he thinks that it's interesting and he pauses his running. So, uh, you could train by running around. It's quite safe here. The only thing, the only dangerous thing, it's this water. Because in water, you could uh, draw. And you see, your character turned into numbers. What does it mean? This numbers, it's num it's amount of your hit points. So if it's seven, it means that you have seventy percent of your hit points. If it's five, it means that it's fifty, fifty. Uh, so, and you could see here also uh, your hit points here. You could see. Uh, but in next video, I'll go through all interface and I'll tell you about everything in our next part of the video. But for now, you, we just make small demonstration and we want to go to this wizard and let's buy fast door scroll from him we push p purchase and shift e because if we have capital letter here we want to push it capital and we could have two scrolls so let's choose two push enter we bought it and now push escape now uh, let's go to the dungeon. Let's go to uh, to the first dungeon. So we going through the road, then we we'll go to the north, and here we have our first dungeon. How to go down? We have special case for it. It's uh, mm, this how to how how you call it? Brackets, yeah, brackets, angle brackets. So you push shift and this button, and you go down. After you go down, go down uh, you do not see uh, stairs up because you will you, you will need to find them. You you like drop uh, into pit, and here you could go and fight with monsters. Uh, as a as a warrior, it's quite easy. You just need to uh, come somewhere, and your character will automatically fight with monsters. So your, your character automatically fight with monsters, but what you could do, you could craft potions, you could uh, read scrolls, you could use magic items, and yeah, there are different classes, and some classes they have a lot of magic, so you need to use magic fast. But we will talk about it uh, in our next videos. F for now, for now, I just want to show you, so you go through this dungeon, fight with monsters, if you meet something dangerous, for example, uh, this eye. 
you could push L and then uh, use your arrows to navigate with L. L command it's look. You see that's floating eye. It could be dangerous monster which could paralyze you. So to fight with him you want to use wrenched stuff. And as you remember we bought some rocks. And you could throw rocks to him. Automatically to do it you push H. You see and we killed this uh, eye with the rocks. So like this you could go through this dungeon, fight here, get your items, uh, loot, uh, go together with your friends and if you wish go back to the surface you want to use this staircase so you find staircase up and push uh, other bracket small bracket so we push shift and bracket and you go back i think uh, this will be enough for our first time uh, we started to play the game so you could already have some adventures and um, in uh, our next video in our next guide i'll show you i'll explain all interface, I'll tell you all the stuff about the game, there are plenty of interesting features here, some of them quite complex, some of them uh, not, but I'll try to explain them very simple, so everybody will have fun in Tangaria. Thank you much for watching, don't forget to, sus to subscribe to this channel, Yeah, and uh, see you in my next videos, bye bye!